Hello everyone, Dragon Souls here, and before I get to this review for Vampire uh, for the PS4, I just want to sit here and say thank you to Fat, uh, thank you, and a great big huge shout out to Fat Raging Pig for the fan art for this fan uh, for that fan art uh, th uh, thumbnail fan art that uh, he made for me. Um, I appreciate it very much. A great big huge shout out to him. And uh, if anybody, um, and if he, and if he wants me to uh, post his, uh, post his uh, link uh, to the in his name in the description below the video. Uh, for now on, I will. So that way, um, uh, if he wants uh, anybody else to make a uh, wants him wants to, wants them wants him to do and wants him to do in that with them the same way if he feels up to it that is then I will but I I'm gonna get I want to get his permission first okay hello everyone dragon souls here and welcome to my review of vampire and I am not gonna hold nothing back on this one <laughs> um First of all, I gotta say, the um, the story was awesome. It was okay. It was awesome, but uh, it had its flaws in in the in it, you know. And uh, the combat, I'm not gonna lie to y'all guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to none of y'all. Okay, uh, the combat on this game sucked fucking ass okay I mean at first for a good while uh, in, uh, at, at the beginning of the game the combat was pretty awesome you know you can upgrade your weapons uh, you can uh, level up your character and, and shit, all kind of stuff like that you know that's pretty awesome you know and the combat was pretty good until it got to uh, chapter, uh, until it got uh, until it got a little bit further in to like the chapter three and four and five and on 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 and throughout uh, uh, from chapter four to on out, that's when it got harder, and the combat sucked ass. It was no good at all. Uh, this game is kind of like Dark Souls, but it's also more like Bloodborne than Dark Souls at all. Because you can parry on this game, but you cannot block whatsoever. And you have this guy to sit here and have a shield right on his arm. To sit here and block you and everything, which is bullshit. If you can't block, they shouldn't be able to block you either, and it's bullshit. Um... The loading screen, oh my god, the loading screen kills the game. And if you die or, uh, if you die or, uh, if you're going into a different area and there's a loading screen, you have to sit here and wait for almost 30 minutes or so for the loading screen to be done. And it's, uh, I have a time, I don't know about with everyone else, but to me, Whenever you ran, whenever you ran or something, it's like it had to take a few minutes to load and everything. You know, uh, it lags up a little bit. Um, it sometimes uh, uh, pit and it, it looks like it's uh, going straight into the toilet. Uh, otherwise, and other than that, the graphics are kind of okay, but they're not that great as 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 uh, as it's supposed to be. And as you're seeing right here, it was loading. Uh, had a loading screen which shouldn't have happened at all. Um, and uh, the combat on here really sucks, you know. I mean, if you're and you're if you're and you, like if you just start like you're le level um, say you're level eight, okay, you're level or level six or uh, level five or something like that, and you you just started here in this level. And you're in chapter one or chapter two, and you have all kinds of missions that's higher level than you are. You can't beat them. You can't do anything. You had it requires you to grind, and there's only two things you can do. You can grind and kill these guys right here, which are bad guys right here. 
and uh, you can suck their blood and stuff and it won't affect the game at all um, it won't give you a bad ending or anything like that but here's the thing is if you suck the if you suck the innocence blood like uh, the, you go like like if you go out and before we get to that let me just say this here okay the AIs you go to AIs and, and, and you go and talk to them and uh, you go and you go off and talk to them about uh, about about them you know and get to knowing them more you know and then and if you hit the wrong thing you screw it all up you won't be able to get uh, get to know them more you know um, but you go off and if you do it right you can actually trigger something and you can actually uh, um, do that one thing where you, uh, where, you're, uh, where you look like you're hypnotizing them where you can actually get more out uh, and talk to them you know and get to know them more you know and you can unlock sight and and sometimes uh, if you can't get more out of them you can also talk to the people that knows that person and then you can actually talk to them and then you get more out of the more from that person there and then, then you go back and talk to them and then you can unlock some side missions off these characters before before and, and you also make sure they're healthy to where uh, make sure they're fully healthy and where you can actually suck their blood and gain more experience and more um, uh, so you can level up more to level 26 like I am right here and here's the problem. Here, now here's the flaw, flaw, and I think it's stupid, and I think it should not have been in the game. Okay, I think you should be able to sit here and suck the blood. If you're a vampire, or 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 whatever the hell you want to call that, and your character, and his character was, I call him a vampire. Okay, um, if you go off and you suck the blood from innocent people that they're fully he healthy and you've done all their side missions to go off and suck their blood kill them and once you once you suck their blood and kill them they don't come back um, then you should be able to get to uh, get a good ending but no if you suck their blood and kill the innocent people then you get a bad ending, which what I got there, which I got after I was playing it for so long, I just said fuck it, I'm killing them, all. I'm killing some of these people, I'm, ki I'm gonna suck their, I'm gonna suck some of these people's blood, and uh, so that way I can progress in the game and beat the game because I'm tired of the shit. I don't care if I get the bad ending at all, and that's what I did. I did a few, I only did uh, in certain areas. I did uh, certain people. And only one people, only one person in, in each area, and that's all I did. And um, for the record, I seen it, and somebody sit there and said, "Well, here's what you do: if you sit here and, and that where it looks like a little no, number two thing, they look the levels up and everything." Uh, I and they uh, somebody on YouTube had a video saying, "Well, uh, in order for that to go up higher." You had to suck the. You had to go to different people, innocent people that is healthy, and they're lower level than you are, and you gotta suck their blood and kill them in order for that to, to go up. Well, I did that, and I even have a video of it. It's on my YouTube channel right now, showing y'all I did all that, and it did not go up whatsoever. It was a flaw. It was a. It was a complete lie. It was a complete bullshit, and. I thought maybe, just maybe, if I not, if I went ahead and killed them all, just went ahead and killed them all, and got my level up to level 50, maybe I could finally beat the final boss in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. That was full. That's full shit. Okay. Even if you're overpowered and you're and you're higher level than than the uh, than the main boss says itself. You're still going to get your ass handed to you. I tried and it fa I failed miserably. I got the whole gameplay of it on my playlist. On my YouTube channel right now. Go check it out. Especially the final boss. Where you see me raging and bitching and all that stuff. Um, they did a mess of a job on this game. Uh, the run, the, and I, I will say this. 
there's a lot. I mean, you can go. I mean, you can go off on your weapons, and you can go around and uh, walk around the places. You can kill these. You can kill these. Uh, these uh, were werewolves and these enemies, you know. And then they drop stuff you, that you can upgrade your weapon with, you know. And um, as you can upgrade your weapons and stuff like that, and and that's pretty cool, you know. But uh, uh, only thing is, is the dialogue. I mean, come on, you have dialogue after dialogue and after dialogue. It kind of reminds me of Fall. I mean, it kind of. It kind of reminds me of Fallout. It kind of, this game reminds me of Fallout. Uh, it uh, kind of, it kind of reminds me of Fallout, and it kind of reminds me of a uh, um, Dishonored 2, because you can teleport from one direction to uh, to the there. You can teleport to different places, which is awesome. And it reminds me of Bloodborne because you can uh, you take your gun, you can shoot them. You can take your sword and hit them. You can sit here and parry them, and then and, and that's all good, you know. But <sighs> let me just say, some of the dialogue is okay. You know, they did a great job with the dialogue, you know. But it was just dragging on for so too long. The loading screens is ridiculously too long. Um, the combat fucking sucks at the, in the middle of the game. Um, to be honest with you, um, I sold, after I beat this game, I sold this game for about 20, 20, uh, $28. I sold this game for $28 in cash, and I talked to, uh, I, and I took it to Game Exchange because GameStop was trying to rip me off on it. Um, so I talked to them, and they sit there and told me that there was more, uh, then I ain't the only person who sold this game. There was like two other people who sold this game as well because they said they said they got to chapter three on this game and then they said after chapter three they fucking quit. It sucked ass and it wasn't worth the time their time. It wasn't no good at all. They fucking quit it. I don't blame them whatsoever. And they said and and all this stuff and um and so I got the bad ending and here's the here's the thing is too. To me, I think I chose the bad. I, ch I chose the wrong thing. You can go off and take that guy and find out this guy. Spoiler alert: This guy goes out. The doctor that that uh, and w wants to be your friend and all. And, and uh, it was uh, from the beginning. Uh, he goes off and found out he's the one that caused the epidemic. He's the one that caused this epidemic from the beginning. And you have a choice. You can hear sacrifice him you can kill him you can sacrifice him or you can uh, you can turn him into a vampire like you or you can just let him die and here's the thing is everyone the bad news is the bad thing is if to me if you go off and have him to die if you go off and have him to die if you go off and have him if you have him to die that let, let him die then you get the good ending, but if you let, but if you go off and you sacrifice him or you turn him into a vampire, then you get the bad ending right there. Knowing that too, but if you drink, also if you drink the uh, innocent people's blood and kill them off, you get a bad ending as well. And it doesn't matter how many people you get and you kill, you can like you can kill like two or three of them, and you still get a bad ending as well. And I think it's stupid. Okay, I think it's really stupid and it's dumb. But uh, yeah, uh, like I said, the combat on the on hit on this game sucked. Um, the loading screen sucked. And it was it was too it was too long, as you see in this video here. And um, the dialogue they could have died it and dialed it down a little bit, but they didn't. Too much dialogue on it as well. I mean, it was great dialogue and all, but it's too long. And uh, it is as boring as shit. This game is boring as shit. It's not. And they said I also found out this game is not a triple A game. 
It's a double A game. I guess uh, that's what they call it. That's what somebody is telling me. I'm not sure. But this game, I'm sorry. I wasted $65 for this piece of shit of a game. It's not worth buying whatsoever. Do not, and I repeat, I strongly recommend you rent this game. Don't rent it. It is not worth $60. In fact, if you want to really buy it, this, and also, also, let me throw this in here to say this there, okay? It also reminds me of Sherlock Holmes. Yes, right, everyone. There is a game out right now called Sherlock Holmes for the PS4. I haven't bought it yet. I never played it yet. And this game screwed. Uh, this game fixed that. I was I was thinking of getting that game in the future, in the near future, and this game screwed it over. Thank you, developers, for doing that. I you you just fixed me you just fixed that I will not buy that game Sherlock Holmes after playing this piece of garbage of a game and nobody should uh, should ever buy this game if you're wanting to buy this game now if you are wanting to buy this game wait until it goes down to twenty dollars or something like that it's only worth twenty bucks it is not worth sixty dollars sixty five dollars keep your money. Take your money and do whatever you want to with it. Then uh, take your money and buy groceries, your uh, drinks, um, buy whatever game you want. If you're saving up for uh, if you're saving up for Call of Duty, or you're you're saving up for Spider-Man, any new game that's coming out, uh, especially this new game of a uh, Jurassic World Evolution. If you're if you're wanting that real bad. Save your money and or go uh, or it's digital right now. Go ahead and get it. I went out and got it, and I got I, I went and got the game right now, and I love in that game. So do not get this game. This game is a skip. This game is definitely a skip. Do not get this game at all. And I'm going to give this game. <laughs> I'm gonna give this game a six out of ten. That's right, everyone. This guy, this, I, you know what? I could give it lower than that. This game only deserves, really, it only deserves a, a, a four out of ten. I swear. This game only deserves a four out of ten, but. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I kind I really did enjoy this game, so I can't give it game, this game a six out of ten, okay? But I strongly recommend nobody buying this game whatsoever. Only it's only worth the rent, and if you want to buy this game, wait until the price go down to twenty, somewhere on there, and then you'll be able to buy it, okay? On sale for twenty dollars, then you buy it. Don't waste your money on it. Wait until a new game like uh, Spider-Man or Shadow of the uh, the Tomb Raider, any other new game that you're wanting to get. Wait, hold your hold your money. Keep your money until one of them new games come out. Do not get this pile of crap at all. It is not worth your money, and it is not your worth your time. If you want to see what I full and if you want to see my gameplay of what I uh, 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 be raging on this game, you're gonna hear a bunch of it on the, on my gameplay. So go, please go check it out. Okay, that's gonna be it for my for my review, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, and if you hit and if you do like and if you do like this review and you like what, and what I thought about this game this game plan this game hit the like button uh, on this review hit the like button subscribe and share if you did not then I can I can tell you right now I want to tell you I want to tell you something okay you can take that dislike button shine it nice and neatly turn that some bitch sideways and shove it straight up your candy asses because I really don't give a fuck. I'm being honest about this piece of shit of a game here. Uh, of, this, of this piece of shit of a game here. 
it is not worth it. And I wish I had never have listened to and I wish I, I wish I had never listened to that woman at, at GameStop about this game or else I would have never gotten this game. I would have gotten Jurassic World in the first place. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. Dragon Souls signing out.